Hello everyone and welcome to the Census of Focusing event organized by the University of East Anglia. I am Nikolos Kipriotakis or just Nikos and I am very glad that you the contributors from UK first organized such a book launch event for Census of Focusing. Um, Thank you, Judy Moore, for what you did for us, for me, for the project. And thank you for what you are still doing. I hope you, we continue to collaborate in such a good manner as we did in many similar uh, projects in the future. And uh, yes, <laughs> uh, thank you also, um, Campbell Parton for your help and Fedon Kidoniatis from Eurasia Publications, uh, Athens, for your trust in this project. See, here you see a moment from the project's early stages. Um, also, many thanks uh, Akira Ikemi for your help and kind support. Here you see a screenshot while I was trying to make a video on Uh, of me and Ju Judy interviewing him for his contribution to Senses uh, of Focusing. So thank you, Akira. Uh, many thanks also I need, I have to thank also uh, Anna Karali and uh, Pavlos Zaroyanis uh, from the Hellenic Focusing Center. Uh, having said that, the biggest thank you Uh, needs to go to you, of course, to you all, the contributors. Um, let's, take a f uh, let's take a look and see uh, for a few seconds uh, your names. So here are the contributors for volume one. <clears throat> yes, and here are the names of the contributors for volume two. So yes, you made this and you are, you are, yes, you are the matter of and for this publication. And uh, now shall I say a few things about my chapter and introduction? I suppose I have to say a few things and I will do it um, in high speed, of course. Uh, I participate in both volumes. And uh, let's begin with uh, the first one. Uh, here you see the cover of the, of the first volume. And uh, the introduction here in, uh, is written by Judy Moore. And I tell you, it was a very much needed introduction with the title, What is Focusing and Where Did It Come From? And of course, I have already translated it in Greek. Um, yes, here you can see the sections of, of, of this volume, volume one, and I participate in the section one, focusing reconsidered, with my chapter, which is ch chapter five. <clears throat> the title of my chapter is Sense, No Sense, Nonsense, Paradoxes, Dialectics and Inquiry. Uh, well, uh, Judy can tell you more about my strange style of writing and as I write in the abstract, my chapter is about cutting across several lines of thought, science and sociology, from the perspective of different uh, philosophical languages, old and new, from Plato to Aristotle, Uh, to modern philosophers. This chapter trusts ra randomness to comment on some of the schemas or edges of the work of Eugene uh, Gendling. Uh, the sections of the chapter are the first one, it begins with everything, pe personal narration, then partitioning the soul, partitioning the world, Then the paradoxical nature of experiencing, relationing. 
Plato's Dialectic, The Activity of Thinking, The Process of Concept Formation of Making Sense. Then, Epochi, I pronounce this in Greek, Epochi and the Process of Becoming Aware, Revealing and Concealing at the Same Time, Focusing as Epochi, the Paradox of Epochi, not just sense and no sense, but also mind of no mind. Felt bodily sensing and homeric sensing, describing, prescribing, experiencing. And the, op- the epilogue is the feeling of the conscious being, the hands and body mind that wrote this chapter. Um, Now let's go to the second volume. Here you see you see the cover of the second volume. And here the introduction is mine with the title New Focusing Random Thoughts About Nakedness, Nonsensical and Appropriations. Um Here you see the section titles of this volume. And uh, as Judy Moore writes in this introduction to volume 2, uh, Nikos Kipriotakis ranges over diverse territory, the body, the nature of reality, language, culture, COVID-19, precarity, groundlessness, zen, asking, amongst many other questions, whether focusing is radical enough today. In uh, focusing, we turn our atten- attention to that which, which is essentially nonsensical. In its original pre-linguistic meaning, focusing defies the quantifiable, but is it in danger of losing its radicalism through many appropriations? The argument of this introduction works both intellectually and through the felt sense, concluding that a new focusing like new physics is needed culturally and societally, publicly open against individualism or narcissism, a revolutionized version, against personal oneness, Gendlin's philosophical radicalism needs to be reaffirmed in practice. My introduction has three sections, flooding, nonsense, and a short epilogue. In the first flooding part, we see sections like bodily being, responsibility, many realities and ultimate reference, focusing nakedness, body, the primary schema, cultural codes, focusing makes it difficult, representations, a paradigm, experiential therapies, person-centered and focusing oriented therapy, functional functioning takings of uh, readings of focusing, For example, EFT, Greenberg's EFT, integrative integrating therapies. Now in the second part, uh, with the title Nonsense, we see the following sections. I hope that you see that nonsense is not really nonsense. Uh, So we see sections... uh, like COVID-19, precarity, becoming heterotopic and radical, towards groundlessness, the ocean of reality, representationalism, (laughs) difficult word, performativity, focusing on nonsense, epistemic reality, representationalism again, measuring probability research, unity, multiplicity, problematicity, and finally, the epilogue with the title uh, from Aristotle, De Anima, for, uh, in Greek, to de zintis zosi to inestin, 
something like for living beings, being is life, being is living. So I think that that was all from me. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. That was all.